Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Matt Rose. Today we're going to talk to you about grain bin rescue, specifically grain bin construction. On this bin you can see external stiffeners. A bolt pattern running up and down the entire grain bin would denote that the stiffener may be on the inside. You can see the vertical bolt pattern here, uh, laminating the two sheets together. And you can see a horizontal bolt pattern here, uh, binding the sheets top to bottom. If we have to make a relief cut in this bin, we want to do so on a full panel piece. We don't want to cut through the bin, through the bolt pattern, uh, or through the stiffeners. All bins have bin ladders. Use caution if you need to use this ladder as the structural integrity may be compromised. The most important part of a grain bin rescue is to lock out and tag out the power on the facility. In order to do that, you're going to have to locate the power panel. You may need help from the farm family to do that, to find it, and to know how exactly to shut it off. A horizontal bolt pattern in the bottom ring of the bin sheets denotes a raised floor. We don't want to cut through that floor, and we don't want to cut underneath of it because it will prevent us from flowing grain. That raised floor is there so that this blower can force air through the grain and keep it in good condition. If we can isolate the power to this blower, we can turn it on and force air through the grain to give our victim a better chance of survival. Today we've talked about some of the key elements of grain bin construction. Join us next time for more on grain bin rescue. Thanks for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Matt Rose.